Hey guys, excuse the wind, but today we're going to be taking a look at the one year review of my AR firearm slash pistol build right here on Hunt Training. Everybody, let's go ahead and take a look at my AR pistol-ish firearm kind of deal. Anyway, um, I've had this gun for about a year now. I oh wait, before we get started, I want to thank my wife Lene for going to the range with me and helping me shoot some footage and giving me commentary. If you want to see the commentary, it'll be at the end of the video. She says some pretty funny stuff while she's videoing me just because she can. But uh, anyway, guys, um, this AR firearm. I've had for you know a little over a year now um, put about 2,500 rounds through it with no failures so there's that to start out with um, let's go over the build real quickly and then we'll talk about it some more so first off the lower was a complete lower from Palmetto State Army it does have their enhanced polished trigger the Magpul trigger guard and it came with an MOE grip I went ahead and I swapped the MOE for K2 other than that it's all Palmetto except for one other I did put a heavy buffer, a heavy buffer, a Spikes STT3 buffer, in here. So about the it's, a, it's like 5.4 or 5.03 ounces somewhere there. But this does have the adjustable SBA3 pistol brace, which makes this not an SBR. And we'll get into some the legal stuff about it anyway, because a lot of you are probably wondering about that kinesthetic angled grip on the front. But so there's the lower, the upper. Is kind of mostly bought from Brownells, so the the upper receiver itself is a Brownells upper receiver. It's the uh, the uh, Ford Assist and Dust Cover are Brownells. The handguard came from Brownells, but it is a Midwest Industries 10 and a half inch Generation Three uh, lightweight M lock handguard. Three sides of M lock. Uh, I really really like the handguard. It really makes the gun. The uh, muzzle device on the end there. Uh, standard a2 uh it does a really good job and it doesn't cause a lot of blast on this short barrel um gas block and gas tube i had laying around from another bill or from other rifles and rifle parts um i'm gonna go everything then i'll go over the barrel last and so the uh flashlight is the streamlight x shell x i have it on an air 45 degree mount you can i got them both off of amazon uh the mount is kind of expensive but it's a solid solid piece of gear i do run the tape switch with the uh the zip ties and this one's on there pretty good and I don't plan on really like getting the cloud defenses set up. I'll probably put the cloud defensive on my other setup. I do have the Daily Strategic D3 sling set up in a two point. Uh, it works well for me and I think I'm gonna leave it on this rifle. Um, uh, for the charging handle, I had just I had a standard charging handle to start out with because didn't have a whole lot of money. I built it on a budget. But then I uh, upgraded to the Radian Raptor LT so it has the polymer covered uh shoes but it is ambi solid solid piece of gear um and then i have the bcm uh kinesthetic angled grip on the front there uh, i really enjoy them i i post off of it and pull into myself and so that's what i use it for just i grip it just like this with my thumb in front of the tape switch if i use the tape shift i just slide back to the tape switch there and if you notice i'm pushing the tape switch but the light's not working and it's tight So what happens is, is the CR123s in there sometimes don't make contact. So if you're gonna put this light on a home defense gun, make sure you're running 18650s because uh, that way you don't have this issue. Anyway, I'll have to fix that later, but there's that. The dot on top is the Holosun 515, 
Hall's Sun HS515C. So this does have the circle dot reticle. It does have the um, uh, solar panel. It has a kill flash in here and it came with caps. It also has a quick detach mount. Awesome, awesome little red dot. The circle dot reticle to me personally, I it's I really don't get, care about it. Like I just like a dot. Sometimes I find the circle to be a little busy, especially on a little bit longer range targets. Um, let's go with the bolt carrier group and the barrel now, the heart of the rifle, I guess you could say. Bolt carrier group is, uh, again, from Brownells. It is a, uh, whoever makes their bolt carrier, you know, HPMP tested, M16 full auto profile, uh, and it is black nitriding. I do like nitriding. If you've been around my channel, you've probably heard me say I love nitriding, love, love, love nitriding. I think it's an awesome coating. So we've got that going for it. The uh, barrel, which is absolutely amazing is a 11.5 inch Roscoe manufacturing, 4150 chrome molly vanadium with one in seven twist, 5.56 NATO chamber. Uh, the barrel has been super accurate, runs really good. The gassing is pretty good. I think it's a little much, but then again, I know what they're doing. I do, I shoot, usually I use good ammo in my guns. So I, I don't have cycling problems. I can run the heavy buffer and I'm ejecting the brass as you've seen in the video at about the 3.30, 4 o'clock range. So uh, no problems there. Um, well, I wouldn't change anything on this setup. I love this little setup here. It's awesome. It sits by my bed a lot of the time. Uh, my 18650 burnout, and I put one, two, threes in it, so it has been really by my bed in a little bit. I need to get another 18650. I got them on the way, uh, but really wouldn't make any changes to it. And as you see on the back side, nothing fancy. Standard safety, standard um, bulb catch. Really, just a pretty bare bones, simple. AR firearm pistol build. And so some of you are probably wondering about the legalities of why I have the grip on the front there. Um, according to the ATF, a pistol is has a barrel shorter than 16 inches, but an overall length of shorter than 26 inches as well as measured for their specs. Uh, measured for specs, this is over 26 inches, so it doesn't fit the pistol category. And once again, as a filming of this video, that's what I know, and that's what I'm going by, and that's from my understanding, and I'm not a legal advisor, and I'm not a lawyer, so I can't give you law advice, just so you know. But uh, also, so I've got that, number one, is the overall length discrepancy. Number two, it's not a vertical grip, it is a kinesthetic angled grip, so there's kind of some wordage there. And, uh, you know, number three, it's not registered as a pistol. It's registered, the lower is registered as an other. So, you know, that could play into the role of um, what's going on. Uh, overall, uh, super awesome little build here that I got together. Uh, the, the SBA3 was the new hotness when it came out about a year and a couple months ago. And I ended up getting one right off the bat. It's a solid, solid brace. If you come across it, don't be afraid to get one. The new SBA4, um, I'll roll in a picture right here. It's kind of an old, like they took their older style brace and basically made it adjustable, like their original brace and kind of made it adjustable. But SB is always just killing it. But I plan on getting one of those braces and putting on another pistol gear. Hopefully by the end of the year, we'll see. Um, as far as the palmetto lower, with the, the EPT lower, the trigger is, is you know, five or five and a half, six pounds, but it's really, really smooth. Like if, if I've been just using this gun, I can, I'm really used to it and I can run it pretty well. Um, I, honestly, the, I've had no failures. The only failures I've had is where I didn't seat the magazine and I've had to tap rack. I mean, I can show you this video right here. You can see my dumb ass going like, what the hell is going on? And then all of a sudden I figure it out. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, you know, like, comment, all that awesome stuff. Um, if you guys don't have an AR pistol, highly, highly recommend building one because of the legalities of an SBR. And this pretty much negates the ability to get an SBR. Oh, and barreling, 11.5 inch I think is awesome because you get a little more dwell time and the 10.5s have been known to be not as reliable. I don't find that anymore. Like they've got they've got the 10.5 figured out. Everybody's got their gas port and they, they know what to do with it. But 11.5 uh, just eliminates that even more and it's, it's pretty smooth shooting. Uh, 
I really enjoy shooting this gun. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you have a great day. Hope you're making yourself better. Go out there and get shooting. Uh, we got a lot of big things coming up. So we will see you back here for some more videos. See you guys later. such thing. Take two. Do you even hit that target? What happened? Going really slow. I love bringing you to the range. Do I need to come to the range more often? Holy crap, where's your coach? Amanda! 